Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to take a look at a full real estate shoot that I did recently, shot by shot, with explanation and commentary on each photo that I took. Alright guys, so here we are in the entryway to the house. This was a pretty tight space. I'm just uh, leveling my tripod here and then now checking my verticals against the uh, door trim there to make sure that my camera is straight up and down level. Now something to note here on this shoot, um, since it's COVID-19 times, uh, they instructed me not to really touch anything. So there are some items in this shoot that I would have moved. Like if you see the uh, shoe tray right there on the floor, uh, I definitely would have moved that thing. Um, for one here I'm just uh, raising the tripod up a little bit because that dresser here I just wanted to get above a little bit and I'm taking my shot and that is our first finished image edited so now I'm turning around to get the opposite angle um, capture this doorway and the stairway here so you can see where the entryway goes the other direction Again, I'm leveling the tripod here and there, I'm readjusting the door. So normally I would open both those doors, um, but uh, the one was stuck, so. That does the job just fine though. It just looks like, hey, come on in. Kind of, I usually prop the doors like that when you have double French doors. So that's something I typically do it opened both of them but I couldn't in this scenario here again like the pillows on the bed you know it doesn't look great I probably would have asked to move those or move them myself um, it's an unmade bed but whatever this is like a summer townhouse you know it's a summer property for somebody so they're not here all it's not a full-time residence in other words but again here composing my shot you know I tilted to the right, or it's panned to the right, so I wasn't getting some of that other doorway there. Here I'm going for the opposite angle, so here I want to raise my tripod up. It's one of those times where I would raise it up to get above the bed there so it's not blocking my view. In most bedrooms I get one shot in, but in a scenario like this, this could be a bedroom, it could be another sort of, it could be used as another space, like a, you know, a living room or something like that too. So it's not a, sort of not just a bedroom. So I wanted to get another angle and also show the entrance to the room. The doors are nice. So, so a lot of this stuff has to do with the real estate photography basics video that I did before. So I would definitely suggest watching that video first. I'll link to that up on the screen right now. And after, I got my leveling all straight. There's my shot, my edited shot. All right, here we have a bathroom. Again, usually I, I shoot about waist high typically, but in the bathroom situation, you wanna raise your tripod up, your camera up a bit. So you're seeing this top of the sink here. Um, otherwise you're just getting all like the cabinets in your face. So again, here I would be moving the um, tissue box that definitely would get it moved um, you know that stuff in the shower isn't great either but as I said it's sort of is what it is but it's kind of good so I can kind of explain the things that I move anyway and point them out to you uh, now my shot is level and composed I'm gonna fire it off I'm standing outside of the bathroom here by the way um, you want to get the wideish make it look as big as possible so I'm like out of the room shooting that basically all right, so here we are on the second level now. Um, this is the living room. I'm just composing my shot here, trying to find what I want to get in the frame. I usually just play around a little bit until I like the uh, composition. Here I'm, I'm uh, leveling my camera vertically. If you see that piece of trim on the wall on the back, on the very edge of the left side of the frame. I always use, you know, door frames, trim like that to make my, to uh, judge my verticals and make sure I'm straight. 
So you can see I'm pretty much perfectly straight on that trim on the left and that's my finished shot. Here's the opposite angle. I always go, if I can, shoot the opposite corner diagonally across so that way you're seeing the other side of the room. And I'm raising up again because there's furniture very close to my camera so I don't want to be blocking my shot with all that furniture so I'm raising my camera up to get above that a little bit so you can see beyond it and that's that finished shot here's a nice stair detail shot this is kind of nice so I'm lowering my camera back down here again back to waist height that's what I typically shoot at is waist height um, so that way we have a nice balance of floor and ceiling in our shot and it's not too much of either again that's something i go into in the basics video that i mentioned earlier so i'll just zoom in to like see the wall on the right hand side if you zoom in you can get your edge of your frame close to that and see how you are vertically if your lines are straight and your your level i don't trust the camera level because it's very you know inaccurate um, at least the Sony one is here we have a little balcony off the living room again I'm in the house as you can see the door is there on the left I'm not out there on the balcony like I'm in the house shooting from the doorway getting the widest shot I possibly can and I'm just leveling my tripod here with my leveler then getting my vertical level in in play and then once I have that I fire off my shot and that's our finished shot in that scenario this is a little detail shot in the living room I guess it's sort of a detail shot of a little sitting area um, again I'm raising my camera up here so I can get sort of the whole light fixture in and and the legs of the table everything is in that shot and leveling here and then making sure my vertical level is level again we have this trim on the wall you can see my verticals are pretty much straight on so always judging against something in the room that you know is level like door trim trim all that sort of thing so that's our finished image of that all right here's a bathroom again tissue box soap garbage can these are that little basket on the sink these are all things that i would remove and again i'm raising my camera up so we can see the top of the sink and i am out of the bathroom shooting from the doorway hello <laughs> and getting the widest shot i possibly can here and yes the camera is in the mirror that's typical for a bathroom shot i will just remove it later in photoshop sort of a pain but these are the best vantage points for shooting a bathroom like this so I could try to squeeze in the bathroom and shoot from the left corner but and not be in the mirror but um, it's not a good, as good of a looking shot it's tighter it makes it look small etc so that's our finished image without the camera in it photoshopped out so this is a little detail shot we have a little bar area here so you always want to capture these nice little details and features that the home has so like this is hard to capture like there's no place i could be to capture the entire thing top to bottom so this is sort of the best composition i could do here you know it's not ideal obviously i'd like to capture the whole thing but kind of was not possible without other things blocking it so and you get an idea of where it is as it leads into the living room there. So we have that finished shot there. All right, now we are in the kitchen. So kitchen is definitely another area where I raise the camera up almost to like chin level or so. So that way you're not getting, you don't want to see the underneath of the cabinets, which are unattractive. You also want to see the countertops. So you definitely want to raise up for these shots. Again, I'm just leveling here and then checking my vertical level against that door frame on the right hand side. 
on the edge of the frame on the right. You can see it's very close to the edge of my frame, the door frame. So you can see if your um, camera is vertically level by judging against those things. So, and that's our finished shot for that. Again, something I mentioned in the basics video is that you always level your tripod horizontally first and then you level your camera on the vertical axis second. So that's very important. Again here, I'm trying to capture how the kitchen flows into the living room here. So that's, it's always good to show room connections if you can. And the kitchen is something that I get the most angles of. I will get minimum four angles from each corner of the kitchen. Here we have like an eat-in area, so I'll capture that as well. Again here, now I have my camera level and composed, so I'm firing off my shot. And that's our finished shot there. Again, on the island there, there's papers and glasses in that little dish where the candle is. Like I would definitely typically get rid of that for sure. So keep that in mind. I mean, the house is clean and neat, but yeah, there's these little things in, around that I would definitely move out of my shot in normal circumstances. <laughs> Fortunately, with this fire situation, shooting houses has become a little bit different. <laughs> so here I am doing another corner here. I'm trying to capture the other view facing towards the Eden area of the kitchen. And that's our finished shot for that. And now I will go to the other corner. So that's my four corners of the kitchen. And now again, I wanna capture the view facing that angle. So I'm getting every opposing angle in the kitchen. So you can see every which way. Kitchens are very important rooms, huge selling point for most houses. So here I'm doing just a shot of the eat-in area. I would usually always do one of these just to isolate that area and get it, it, its own shot for that. And I'm level and I'm firing off. Again, I would lower my tripod down or my camera down a little bit for this, but again, I wanna capture, you know, some of the tabletop. You don't want it to be like super low. And here I wanna, I always try to capture the whole entire kitchen, at least in one shot where you catch the eat-in area and the whole kitchen. A lot of kitchens are formatted like this. So this is sort of a typical scenario here. I'm, it, I'm trying to see, I came out. I'm, I'm actually now shutting, squeezing down my tripod legs. So they're more narrow because I'm trying to capture from that window frame on the left edge to the door frame on the right edge. And over there, as you can see, I'm trying to get all of this in one shot. So I'm really squeezing my camera into the corner of the room. You know, I'm always, almost never standing behind the camera if I'm shooting from a corner. Always, you know, putting it way back into the corner so you can get the widest shot possible. And I'm trying to level the camera now here from the front, which is always a little bit more difficult. And this is why you need a uh, camera with a flip out screen. It's almost, you know, essential for real estate photography. So now I'm level, as you can see, I got the door frame and the window frame in the shot. So I got the whole entire, you know, room in that I wanted to. I, I, I try not to cut off anything if possible. I just don't like the way it looks. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but in that scenario, I was able to squeeze in enough to get everything. All right, so here we are in a bedroom upstairs now. Um, typically I would shoot this from the door, but the doorway, so I can get the wide shot, but the doorway is to the left here. So it was an awkward angle. Um, so I am actually in the room, squeeze, putting my tripod back into the corner. I'm not standing behind my tripod. My tripod's in the corner. I'm outside of it on the side, looking at the screen and getting my shot. So and that's our finished image for that one. I usually typically get one shot of a bedroom unless it is the master bedroom. And I will typically get at least two of the master bedroom. Here is a bathroom again upstairs so again the soap the tissues the garbage can these are all things I would have pulled out of there normally um, again I'm raising my camera up so I get the top of the sink here and I'm leveling and I'm zooming in to check my vertical level against 
the corner of the room or the mirror there, even any, any vertical line that you can check, <laughs> all good. And I'm getting out of the way and using my remote to fire these off. Again, Photoshop the camera out of the mirror and that's our finished shot for that bathroom. All right, and now we are in the master bedroom. And this I am shooting from the doorway. As you can see the door frame right there, I'm out of the room. My camera's just, my tripod's sort of centered in the door frame as far back as possible to get the widest shot I can possibly get here. I'm zooming in, checking my vertical level against the door frame there on the closet door on the right hand edge of the frame, making sure I am perfectly vertically level. After I had leveled the tripod horizontally and now we're ready for the shot. That's our finished image for that one. And now I'm going to go to the opposite corner again, diagonally across the room. So now we can get an opposing angle. So you can see on what's, you can see what's on the other side of the room here. And you know, we got some nice woodwork over there, the TV and you know, this is the master bedroom. So the people who are buying the house, this is, would be their bedroom. So you want to give them a few angles here at least two I get. And also it's important to show that the bathroom is right there connected to the room. It looks like I was slightly off vertical as you can see on the left, but I fixed that in post. You know, if you're off a little bit, it's easy to fix a little bit, you know, in, in, in when you're editing in Lightroom, you could fix that easily. So, or Photoshop, either one. So here we are in the master bathroom. Again, I'm raising my camera up so we can see the top of the sinks here. And I will get two angles here, one of this vanity area. And then again, I'll turn so you can see the tub and the shower. And once I'm level, I'm gonna take my shot. And I'm shooting five brackets, two stops apart. So that is what I'm doing there. So that's why you see five shots going off. And these are JPEGs that I edited together later. Um, and now we have the tub and shower shot here. It's important to show this as well, obviously. And I lowered my camera down. So, you know, that, that corner of the, that corner on the bottom of the tub there on the bottom of the frame is in the shot. I'm not, I'm not cropping out any part of the tub. I want to get the whole thing in there. So, and that's our finished shot there. So that's it for the interior of this townhome here. Um, this is the front entryway, some nice stonework. I always usually get a picture of the entryway. And as you see, I upped my aperture to F16. I usually do that for exteriors. It just it doesn't hurt. And you know, almost everything is in focus. F8 is just is fine as well, but I usually just throw it on F16 when I'm outside. And that's our finish shot for that. And unfortunately, you know, we have cars parked here in front of the, uh, the townhouse here, but there's nothing you can do about that. So I'm standing far enough back where I can get the whole thing in and get my vertical straight. So I'm not tilt, you know, I'm not standing close to it and tilting the camera up and getting distorted lines. And I'll just crop in on this in the finish shot, as you see here, just cropping out the road as much as possible. And usually I'll get three angles of the exterior, um, one off to the right, one in the center, one off to the left. On most homes, I do this. If there's a front yard, I'll do one standing far back so you can capture the whole front of the property. But in this scenario, there isn't that. So, and there's really no backyard to this at all. So there's nothing, there's no back shots for this. It's just front since there is no backyard. And if you guys like these kind of video, uh, please, you know, leave a comment below and let me know. I can make more of these. I'll capture more um, and maybe some luxury homes or, or I'm getting more detail shots. If you guys like this sort of thing, please let me know. All right, guys, so that's about it for that shoot. All right, guys, so I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you again on the next one.